Hey guys, you may not know this to look at me, but I'm a big rap fan. Yeah, surprise. And even at Christmas time, rappers, they love making rap songs based around Christmas. I want to start with the shittest hip hop Christmas song ever made. Jim Carrey starred in The Grinch. The soundtrack featured Busta Rhymes. Yeah, respected rapper Busta Rhymes. The problem with it is, is that Jim Carrey is also in it rapping as The Grinch. It's terrible. Let, let me just go to my, my book here. <clears throat> okay, this is Busta Rhymes verse. You are a mean one, Mr. Grinch. You really are a heel. You're as cuddly as a cactus. You're as charming as an eel. What are you on about? What do you mean you're a mean one? You're Busta Rhymes, you've been around gangsters. Just bust a cap in his ass. Jim Carrey as the Grinch does a few verses as well. I'll, I'll, I'll give you one. <clears throat> Yo B, I had my reason. They called me the Grinch. I tried to live the given, but it was making me winch. What are you doing? And then right at the end, Jim Carrey again, in between all the, you know, the little Grinch lines that he throws in, he goes, I want to give a shout out to the west side of Whoville. Oh, nice to bring in the East versus West. Nice, classy, classy Jim Carrey. So bad, that's no way to end a Christmas. <laughs>I wish you a Merry Christmas. I'm not saying this. Nina! Nina, stop it. There are teeth in my eyes. God, this is worse than alien. Mary had a little baby boy in a cave. People came round and said, Mary, girl, are you okay? We really want to see your babe. We think that you should call her James. So many hilarious moments throughout the night. At one point, Joseph pretended a coin was his eye. And then you know these three wise men that came giggling by, carrying with them gold and frankincense and myrrh. Wine, the one with wine made a joke, he said. Does your baby drink? <laughs> Everybody froze on the spot, it was so funny they couldn't think. And then the whole of Bethlehem laughed for a year. Imagine such an image, a baby drinking wine. Strangers high-fiving in the street without saying anything But knowing they're doing it about the baby drinking wine joke Everybody loved it so Such a hilarious image It's such a funny joke A baby drinking wine But how could a baby drink? Wouldn't he get really tired? And then the whole of Bethlehem died from laughing at the joke Joseph was like, I swear my coin in the eye thing was funny too, you know. <clears throat> Christmas is a time for family, and I believe everybody should have a hand in the Christmas dinner. That's why I've invented this game. Guess what's up the turkey's ass? Let's have a rummage. Oh, <laughs> it's like a meaty stocking filler. Oh, that's exciting. Oh, it's nice, quite flat. That, oh, is it? Is it what I want? That feels like a phone. It can't be a f Oh my God, it's a phone! I've got a phone! Oh, thanks for having put that in. Right, okay, let's go. Um, oh, that's no idea what that is. It feels a bit, that could be giblets actually. That could just be turkey. That could be a bit of turkey. I'm not into, I'm gonna leave that bit. Oh, that's hard and metally. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, wow, it's a bikini and a monkey wrench. Oh my God, I'm the happiest person alive. Both the things that were on my list. 
Okay, let's have another go. Oh, hello. That, that is a bottle opener. Somebody knows me very, very well. I like to hide my booze sometimes inside a turkey. Oh, and the opener is always very handy. And then a, oh dear Lord, I won't be using this. Not where, not after where that's been. Who'd use a toothbrush that's been up a turkey's arse? Right, oh, there's something else here. One more thing. Oh, that's attached. Okay, hang on, hang on. I have no idea. Oh, fidget widget diddler. Oh, it's brilliant. I love it. It'll never take off. I think that's it. Is that it? That can't be it. Is that all that's in my turkey? Right. This is now ready for the oven. I like to baste it first, but you might like to stuff it with other items. Happy Christmas. <laughs>or should I say, Merry Christmas. My name is Tom York, I'm 49 years old and I'm a singer-songwriter. I'm probably best known for being the lead singer of experimental pop group Radiohead, often described as the thinking man's stomp. Christmas has to be my favourite time of year. It's the season of goodwill, family fun and sleigh loads of festive TV. Music has always been a passion of mine. If I hadn't gone to my head and had to choose my favourite Christmas song, it would probably be Sir Paul McCartney's The Frog Chorus from the seminal album Now That's What I Call Christmas. I love its message of hope and peace and I also like the way it's sung by frogs. A technique we recreated on our album, The King of Limbs. As well as my love of music, I'm known to my friends as a bit of a foodie. My favourite thing to eat on Christmas Day would have to be pigs in blankets. As well as the humorous name, I love the taste of crunchy bacon wrapped around a little sausage. The combination of meat on meat accompanying a large stuffed turkey is just too good to be true. My girlfriend often says, what do you get the lead singer from Radiohead for Christmas? Well, that's easy, a Nissan Qashqai. With the stylings of a four x four and the running costs of a hatchback, it's just too good to be true. Although I think Santa might have trouble getting it down the chimney pot, don't you? Merry Christmas from Tom York. <laughs> Good one. Hi, Merry Christmas, welcome to my home. This is a tale called Cookies for Santa, and it revolves around the fact that I like to dress up on Christmas Day each year for the amusement of my family. One year I dressed up in a Father Christmas onesie, which I deliberately bought two sizes too small, so you could see a little pig in a blanket nestling on two new potatoes. I also dressed in an outfit known as Sexy Mrs. Claus, and that was the year that two of my family went vegetarian and one was sick. This is the top I bought for last year, a warning of Christmas yet to come. I bought it ironically for the amusement of my family. The website that I bought it from don't seem to understand that, and they send me pictures every time I visit a website of the sort of outfit they think I might like to wear. More worryingly, because of cookies, my wife is also getting bombarded with pictures down the side of her laptop, and I think she thinks she's getting the inside line on the sort of clothes that I like to wear. So, God knows what I'll be unwrapping on December the 25th this year, and what will happen to my career when I inevitably have to wear it on television to show her how much I like it. So enjoy your Christmas, enjoy the last time you ever see me on television. Have a merry one, and I'll see you never again. Bye-bye. <laughs> Behold, the true story of Christmas. Mary had had a baby. It's a baby drum. And they were from Ireland. Uh, and they wanted to stay in an inn, but the inn was full. So Ebenezer Scrooge came forward and said, you can stay in my shed. He's from, he said, yeah. So he let them stay in their shed, which was lovely, because then they were visited by the angels and a... A giant robin? Yeah? A giant robin came. Lo, God sent a giant robin to bless them. And then Joseph said, let's have a tangerine race, as is traditional in the chapter of John. Um, and the tangerines won, but they knocked over the baby snare drum, and so he decided to eat them as a punishment. And that's why we eat tangerines at Christmas. Does that sound? Sounds fine, doesn't it, yeah? Okay, great, thanks. 